Hey everyone, Tech Commentary here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the new iOS 18 official update that was just released today. So let's get started. Now, there's two different primary ways that you can install the new update. The first and the simplest way, it's going to be through your setting on your iPhone. Uh, first thing you're going to do is go into your setting. From there on, go to general, software update, and the iOS 18 update should show up right away for you like this over here and then you can click on update and it will start beginning the update itself. Keep in mind, when you're doing this kind of update, you need to be connected through either Wi-Fi or cellular data. Wi-Fi is gonna work the best to do the update. And make sure, of course, you have an iPhone that supports iOS 18, which is gonna be iPhone 10R or the iPhone SE second generation or later, you can get the iOS 18 update. And all you'll have to do is click on update now. It'll begin the update. Make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged, if not connected to a charger so you can successfully update it. And also you have enough space on your phone if you need to clear some space out. So that's gonna be the way to update it right directly on your iPhone. Now, if it doesn't show up here, another way to update it, it's gonna be through your computer, which I'm gonna show you next. So on a computer, you can download it as well. If it doesn't show up in the setting here, go ahead and connect your phone to here. I'm gonna do it on a MacBook, but we'll also explain how you can do it on your PC. So go ahead and connect it. And once you connect it, you're gonna open up the Finder app if you have a MacBook. So if you have a MacBook, you're gonna to wanna to do that. A message like this will can also pop up where it says a new update is available. You can install right away and then trust and then click on that install option and you'll be good to go. Now, if you don't see this right away, another thing you can do is open up Finder. And once you open up Finder, all you're gonna do is go to location and click on location click on trust so you can trust the phone or the menu to update which is going to be check update you're going to click on check update it's going to check and then you're going to go download and update your phone now if you don't have a macbook with the finder you can also do it on the itunes app which is a free app downloaded from apple from your for your pc or your macbook as well if you have an older macbook just simply open up any browser go to that browser and type in iTunes and the iTunes menu is exactly the same as the Finder app we just showed you. It's a free app. Go ahead and download it to the version if you need it for your Windows. You can get it from here for Windows, download it, and the menu is going to be like how I showed you exactly for the Finder app. It's going to show like this. You're going to connect it and then click on check update or update now and you'll update it. Keep in mind before you do update it, one couple of tips that I wanna share is that make sure you back up your iPhone. Usually you can do iCloud backup or back it up your computer before doing a major update by simply going to your Apple ID and then clicking on iCloud and there's the iCloud backup. You can click on backup now and update your phone and then do the update as well or you can back it up right on your computer as well. By following, this, by following this process where there's an update option as well. And that should allow you to go ahead and update your phone to iOS 18. I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks that we're going to be doing for iOS 18. We'll see you guys next time.